You ever wonder why your FPS drops even though your PC should handle every game easily? It's not your GPU, it's not your settings, it's those useless background apps stealing performance like parasites. Discord, Steam, Epic Games, Chrome, all pretending to be harmless while secretly draining your CPU, GPU, and bandwidth. These are the real FPS killers. Let's tear them apart. So let's start with Discord. Discord is probably one of the biggest hidden performance drains out there. Even when you're just in a voice call, it's constantly using GPU acceleration to render animations, transparency, and stream previews. And when you're screen sharing or streaming your game to friends, say goodbye to smooth FPS. Here's how to fix it. Open Discord settings, advanced, turn hardware acceleration off. That instantly frees up GPU resources. Then go to voice and video, scroll down and disable enable quality of service, QOS. It interferes with your network and can increase ping. Finally, turn off in-game overlay under game overlay settings. It's useless and just hooks into every game you launch, eating frames for no reason. After doing this, Discord will still work fine, but your GPU will stop wasting power on chat bubbles and overlay animations. Next, now let's talk about Steam. Steam isn't just your game launcher, it's also a background service monster. Every time you open a game, Steam runs its web helper processes, overlay, and cloud sync checks. And all that CPU usage adds up, especially on weaker systems. Here's the fix. Go to Steam settings, in-game, turn Steam overlay off. You don't need it. FPS counter? Just use MSI Afterburner. Then open downloads, disable allow downloads during gameplay. Steam sometimes updates your other games in the background, and yes, it kills FPS and network speed. You can also go to Interface, uncheck Run Steam when my computer starts. Launch it manually when you need it. No reason it should always sit in your tray. Once you do this, Steam stops acting like a hidden crypto miner. If you've got Epic running in the background, you might as well have Chrome open 20 times. It constantly checks for updates, syncs your library, and even runs web views that drain both CPU and RAM, even if no games are open. Here's how to fix that. Open Epic Games Launcher, Settings, scroll down and uncheck Run when my computer starts. Close it completely after launching your game. Don't minimize. Exit it. And if you really want to keep Epic under control, open Task Manager, Startup tab, disable Epic Games Launcher. If you bought a game through Epic, just launch it and close the launcher afterward. It won't affect gameplay. Your FPS will instantly become more stable. Chrome might not even be open, and it's still using resources. By default, Chrome keeps background processes active so it can load pages faster next time. But what it's really doing is chewing up memory and CPU cycles while you're gaming. Here's how to fix it. Go to Chrome Settings, System, turn off Continue Running Background Apps when Google Chrome is closed. Also turn off Use Hardware Acceleration when available. This stops Chrome from taking GPU resources that your game actually needs. And if you want a clean browser for gaming, just switch to Microsoft Edge Gaming Mode or Brave Browser. They're lighter and faster. After that, your RAM and GPU usage drop instantly. A lot of these programs sneak back in when you restart your PC. Press Control plus Shift plus Escape, Startup tab, and disable anything that doesn't need to launch with Windows. Discord, Steam, Epic, Chrome, Spotify, everything. Only keep your essentials. The truth is, most people don't lose FPS because of bad PC specs. They lose FPS because of lazy background apps. Discord hooks into your GPU. Steam runs overlays. Epic keeps updating Fortnite in the background. And Chrome eats half your RAM just to keep one tab open. Once you fix all of this, your system suddenly feels clean. Games open faster, frame times get smoother, and your temps even drop a bit. So before you spend money on a new GPU, close these apps and set them up properly. You'll be shocked at how much performance you've been losing to them all along.